this video, I'm going to recap some of the auger stuff that we've been talking about. And I'm also going to walk you through how to make this start to finish and how to mix it appropriately. But I'm also going to touch on liquid cultures. So we're going to talk about those first. As I've been stressing through all of these videos, your liquid culture mix is really just a play on this without your auger auger cup, your basic auger recipe. Reason why is again, all your fungi want is liquid, oxygen, and nutrition. Right, so what we can do is we can make an easy liquid culture by just taking our nutrition source, dropping it in some water and mixing it up and sterilizing it. So for your basic honey liquid culture or your basic sorghum liquid culture or your basic caro syrup or other uh, sugary carbohydrate rich sugar uh, is gonna be one quart of water and 25 grams of nutrition. So in this case, 25 grams of honey. For sorghum LC, which is what this is, all I do is I swap out that 25 grams of honey and I swap in 25 grams of sorghum, right? So that's to a quart. To a pint, I cut that in half. Done. Right? So with a liquid culture, all you're going to do is you're going to mix this just like your auger stuff. So first thing you're going to get out is a nice sensitive scale. This is a nice sensitive scale that can handle grams, right? And you want something that's pretty precise. I'm going to put that on here. Now, this is my auger bottle. Again, just to stress, when you're sterilizing this stuff, it becomes volcanic, right? When you pull these auger bottles out of the pressure cooker, they will still be boiling. The stuff will burn you. I have poured it on my skin. I have poured it on my clothes. I poured it on my hands. You must be very careful with this stuff. So when you're sterilizing it and you're cooking it, you need to use temperature safe, orosilicate, heavy duty glass whenever possible. In a pinch, you can use otter or other glasses, but just remember, this stuff is gonna be so hot that even like if you take a superheated bottle and you put it on a cold surface like I did last week, the bottle will explode and you will get hot auger all over your beautiful countenance and you will burn your lap, which is what I did. Not great. So, glass. This is a magnetic stir bar. If you don't have a magnetic stir plate or a magnetic stir bar, you can put marbles, nails, anything. Basically, you want something in here that will agitate the mix and help you get it nice and uh, homogenized before you pour. Put that on the scale, tear it out. That's it, right? Now, I'm going to do, 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 do. Actually, since I'm not doing liquids, I'm gonna change this. I'm going to grab, where's my little, uh, Cut thing. Give me one second. And then, I'm going to grab something like that. So now, like I've been stressing this entire time, we're going to go to our base recipe, right? Auger auger powder. Now, 25 grams is roughly one and a half tablespoons, but we always measure. Don't eyeball, don't guess. Good scales are cheap. Passable scales, well. Sixteen. Move it out. Great. 15 grams auger auger powder. Grab my handy funnel, put that in. Now again, as I said before, everything you're dealing with is extremely sticky, right? So that's why I'm over here at the far end of the machine shop slash laboratory, because uh, I have the tendency of turning into a, a hot mess of sticky substances. Um, don't leave any comments about that. I don't want. 
Anyway, this is malt extract powder, right? So now I'm going to get 20 grams of this weighed out. Bit of a mess, but uh, okay. Push that off. Okay, a few grams. Twenty grams. I think that bag of L and E is dead. All right. I'm gonna take that bottle, fifteen grams auger auger funnel. Trust me, use a dry funnel. This stuff is so sticky that the second it hits moisture it will turn into a hot mess and just disaster. That's the auger. For this honey, for this LC, I'm actually just going to do a sorghum, right? So I'm going to put the jar on here. Again, in this case, oh, that's stuck in there. In this case, because I'm not going to be superheating it and boiling it and doing all sorts of crazy things with it, I'm just going to grab my regular old mason jar and just like with the uh, auger auger, uh, or the auger mixture, I want a stir bar in there or a nail or marbles because this liquid culture, as you can see, will grow out and you wanna be able to break that mycelium up, see? So, there's your jar, there's your stir bar. Now the next thing to a liquid culture jar is remember, fungi are obligate anaerobes. They need oxygen to survive, so. This is where you get modified lids. At the very basic level, very basic, your liquid culture must be able to pass oxygen. That's a filter patch, that's an injection port. We can put a syringe here, pull stuff out, inject into everything else, but this keeps them breathing. You can use micropore tape, we use microphones, filter patches, so 0.2 micron, bad stuff out. So, got my jar on here, Got my stir bar in there. I'm going to tear that out. And I'm going to put 25 grams of sorghum syrup in here. So, we have two mixes. My LC mix, which is literally just 25 grams sorghum syrup, and my auger mix, which is 20 grams malt extract and 15 grams auger auger. Right, now remember, I could turn this into sorghum by replacing that 20 grams of LME powder with 20 grams of sorghum syrup. Now that I've weighed all of my ingredients, I'm gonna take this nice great big thing of water we go. That LC jar now has a quart of water in there. Now, our bottle of water has one liter of water in it. Now, here's the kicker with both of these. You gotta mix this real, real hard. So the second you put this into the bottle, you're gonna sit here and you're gonna shake it. The reason why is that even though these are all powders, they're finely ground, they're water soluble, the syrup is water soluble, all this other stuff is water soluble, it's just gonna pile up on the bottle, right? So your auger, auger powder, your nutrition, you're gonna filter down to the bottom and let you get it nice and homogenized. Even then, it will still separate a little bit, but it'll be dramatically worse. Also, shaking it like this, you'll get less sediment in your auger. This is how you get good, nice, clear plates. 
nothing stuck on the bottom. Done. This, oh, I'll show you how to put this in the pressure cooker later, but this is now ready to go. This LC jar, unfortunately, I don't have any unmodified lids here, so I'm just gonna ruin this lid. And then I'm gonna take this, shake it up. Now, because I got moisture all over this filter batch, I'm gonna put a clean lid on there. Boom. I now have one jar of sorghum liquid culture and one liter bottle of malt extract auger ready to go into the pressure cooker. You're gonna sterilize both of these for 20 minutes, right? You don't have to sterilize it any longer because it's liquid. It's gonna get superheated and sterile much faster than soil and drains, etc. right? At the end of the day, like I've been saying, these are all just permutations on the same core concepts, right? Your basic recipe, all your auger powder, water, nutrition, right? Honey LC, water, nutrition. That's it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Next video, probably here in a day or uh, maybe sooner, uh, we'll cover how to put this in your pressure cooker and also how to pour the auger. So I've actually got to go prep for the pour later today. So I'm gonna make a couple more bottles of this and I'll get back to you later today with probably pouring and filling your pressure cooker and uh, getting through all that. So I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Again, here are your recipes. And if you like what you see, click like, click subscribe, and also go check out our website. Your support means everything to us. You go to humblefungus.com, you can see everything we have. Our only goal in life is to get you growing mushrooms. So again, thank you and I'll be back in a little bit.